it's your boy Scrub Buster here. I just thought I'd drop another glitch video on y'all. So in the past when I've done glitch videos, they're usually based on movement and it's very obvious to see when the glitch is happening. But for this game, the glitch can be a little bit harder to catch and so I figured I'd just explain some of the more technical aspects of the glitches. I was feeling a little weird about commentating a glitch video and then I realized that I did commentary on a Spongebob glitch video and that was a major cringe fest so it's just up from here so without further ado let's get into the glitches okay so the first glitch I want to show off to you is probably the most popular glitch in this game and that's the glitch involving Burst Dream of Destruction. Now, when you read Burst Dream of Destruction, it clearly states that you need a Blue Eyes in order to activate it. But all I have is a Dekoichi and a Royal Decree, and I can still use it. So basically, it works as a Regeki that you can have three of in your deck, and that's pretty broken. So there's a weird interaction between Snatch Steel and Big Bang Shot. Whenever you have a monster equipped with Big Bang Shot and it gets Snatch stolen by your opponent, then whenever that monster is involved with battle damage with other monsters, it's dealt to both you and your opponent. And so you'll see it right here. Cyber Harpy Lady is so hot. I wish I was that Grey Wing. Another weird glitch in this game is the fact that Magic Cylinder still works when Royal Decree is on the field. The game even makes the animation for when a card is countered, but somehow the attack is still negated and damage is still dealt. Normally, you're not allowed to special summon spirit creatures, but in this game, if you have a pyramid turtle that is destroyed as a result of battle, for some reason the game lets you special summon a dark dust spirit. However, you don't get the effect and the card is pretty garbage by itself, so... Yeah, you could summon it though. Because of the way chaining works in this game, you can actually activate quick play spells in response to Giant Trunade. And instead of the quick play spells resolving first and then going to the graveyard, the game actually leaves them on the field while the chain is happening. And so when Giant Trunade resolves, you are able to get the Quick Play spells back to your hand and use them again. And so now we have limited removal the Cyber End Dragon four times to get it to a 64,000 attack. There's a very strange interaction between the two cards Copycat and Scapegoat. For some reason if you use Copycat and select a sheep token as a target, then enter the battle phase and attack with another creature, Copycat will somehow gain a crazy high attack. So as you can see it's still at zero. And then we're going to attack with Dark Magician first. And now, 28,000. Rip Sheep. So this next glitch is actually really useful for stall decks that utilize the Geometrio and Ground Collapse combo 
to lock out all the opponent's monster card zones. And normally you can't activate a Jama Trio if your opponent doesn't have three available zones. But if you happen to have two Ojama Trios, then you can actually chain them together and the game will activate both, which is a really good alternative if you don't have a ground collapse. Our last glitch involves going to the card shop on the weekdays um, because that's when Dorothy's there and for some reason the programmers forgot to code the expert packs of the descriptions for Dorothy correctly. So uh, as you can see if we go over to the expert pack we can bring up the menu and every pack has a pack description and she says it and we're stuck here forever. And so it's like that for all the expert packs. She just stares at you with that dead inside expression on her face. This is what hell looks like. So yeah, that's about it. If you know any other cool glitches for this game, be sure to leave it in the comments. And if you like the video, be sure to like the video. And thanks for watching everyone.